Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to fix product disapprovals in Google Merchant Center Next. You log in to your Google Merchant Center account and you see this. Now, there are over 50 reasons for having your products disapproved on Google Merchant Center. It depends on your products and your store setup. This means that your product disapprovals are gonna be unique. I'm going to show you the process my team and I use for fixing product disapprovals quickly. I'm also going to take you through fixing the five most common product disapprovals. Now, there are over 50 different product disapprovals that you could have. I don't have time in this video to go through every single one. So I'm going to go through the five most common ones and then leave a link down below to all the other product disapproval videos that we've created. Go there and find our tutorial on how to fix your exact product disapproval in what's showing in Google Merchant Center. So let's get into it. First, what is a product disapproval and why can't Google just approve our products? Well, Google requires that anybody running Google shopping campaigns meet a certain standard. This includes your products, your store, and the data in your product feed. If Google didn't have a way to double check that you're setting up your product feed in a good way, all the Google shopping results are gonna look like this. So Google created Google Merchant Center, which is like a gatekeeper for the data for your products. This means that only store owners that fix their feed and follow Google's rules can show their ads on Google Shopping. So the product disapproval means that Google sees something in your product feed that you need to fix, and so we're gonna do that right now. Okay, so what does the process look like for fixing your product disapprovals? Well, first you need to fetch your feed. You do this by going to products, your feed, and clicking reprocess or fetch. Fixing your product disapprovals is a troubleshooting process and it can be very frustrating. That's why we've created a full resource on fixing every single product disapproval that you can have. I'll leave a link to that down below. Here's what it looks like. It basically goes through every single product disapproval that you can think of and how to actually fix it for your store. For now, I'm just gonna go over the five most common product disapprovals and how to fix them. But like I said, if your product disapproval that you're seeing right now isn't one of these five, no worries, go down below, click the link. We have a full guide on every single one, including a video on how to fix it. Okay, so what's the most common disapproval that you could have? It's not having your website claimed and verified. This is a disapproval that happens when you haven't claimed or verified your website in the Google Merchant Center business information settings. This is a very easy fix. So just go into Merchant Center, go to business information and go through the process. I have a video on how to actually do this and verify your website in less than five minutes and I'll leave a link to that video down below. So go and check it out if this is an error that you're seeing. The next most common error is not having your shipping settings set up properly. This error happens if you haven't set up your shipping settings properly in Google Merchant Center or added them to the product feed. This is also a very easy fix. Just make sure that your shipping settings in Google Merchant Center match what's actually on your shipping information page on your store. Then go ahead and refetch your feed. Now, I also have a full lesson that goes deep into setting up your shipping settings on Google Merchant Center. I'll also leave a link to that down below. The next error you might be seeing is where it says pending initial review. You'll sometimes see this error when you first submit your products for review in your product feed. This just means that Google is still in the process of crawling your feed and checking that everything is okay. There's really nothing you can do here except just wait. I usually check the feed every day and usually this error is cleared up after about three days. If not, try refetching the feed again. Next, we have a more generic disapproval of a violation of Google Shopping Policy. This is a generic disapproval that Google provides if you violated one of the Google Shopping Policies. We might see this when we're working with sensitive niches like supplements or things like that. This is a tough one and you'll really just have to go through Google's policies carefully to see what happened. Check to see if any of the products that have been disapproved in this way violate any of Google's policies. I'll usually go through and check all the policies, but if I can't find the answer, I'll contact Google support. That'll usually point me in the right direction. You can contact Google by clicking the help button at the top of Google Merchant Center. Then click help and support. I also have a page on my website that has a list of all the Google support numbers. I'll leave a link to that page down below. Next, we have an error for unavailable mobile and desktop landing page. This error occurs when Google crawls your website and isn't able to access the mobile or the desktop product page. Maybe there was some weird redirect error or maybe there's a problem with your site or maybe your website isn't live yet. Make sure that you can access your website from anywhere in the world and make sure that you don't need to be logged into your Shopify dashboard to view the website. 
Google is disapproving you because they think that you're not providing an optimal user experience. Sometimes we'll see this error, refetch the feed, and then it will just go away. This might be because Google's crawlers thought it just wasn't working. But with a second crawl, it worked fine, so we're good. The next error we have is the promotional overlay on image. This error occurs when Google recognizes that you've got some sort of text, branding, or promotional overlay on your product images. Google wants your product images to just be a basic product on a simple background. But I'll admit, being creative with your product images can result in better results. There are a few easy ways to fix this error. I'll leave a link to my video that goes over them down below. Next, we have the product disapproval, invalid value. This error happens when there's a mismatch between your feed and your store in terms of the availability of your products. For example, your feed says the products are in stock, but when someone goes to the product page, it says they're sold out. Google sees this as a bad user experience. They'll disapprove the product because of this mismatch. Just make sure that your feed is updated to what's actually on your website and then refetch the feed. Okay, they're the top errors that we see happening with product disapprovals and how to fix them. As you can see, each one requires a unique approach on how to fix it. It also depends on your own store and how you've set up your GMC account. You may have an error that's completely different to one of these, and I understand that. That's why my team and I have created a huge guide that goes through every single product disapproval that you can have in Google Merchant Center Next. We've also created a tutorial on how to fix each one in great detail. I'm gonna leave a link to that resource down below so you can go through, fix your product disapprovals and get your Google Shopping ads running. Also, if you wanna learn how to set up, optimize and scale your Google Shopping campaigns to over 100K per month, I've created a full free course on how to do this. It's completely free, it shows you everything you need and I'll leave a link to that down below. Also, if you'd like my team and I's help in setting up and scaling your Google ads to over seven figures, we do this for dozens of e-commerce stores around the globe. If you're doing over 20K in sales per month already, we can take you there. I'll leave a link to my calendar down below. You can book a team with my team and I, and we'll talk through how we'll do this for your store. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Make sure to click here for the next video in the free course, and I'll see you there.